guys, welcome back to AG Honor Family. Today I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys provided for my Q&A. So let's get started. So these first, I think, 10 questions are from American Girl Sunshine. So the first one is, how long does it take you to make a video? It depends. If it's a stop motion, it usually takes me around like one, two, three days. If it's a larger video like my Chicago tour, that took two full days of being at the American Girl Doll store. And editing wise, it takes me probably, the fastest I've edited a video was probably like one day, and the slowest that I've edited a video would probably be like a week and a half or something like that. Who is your favorite AG doll ever made? I'd have to say Cecile. I think she's super pretty. And I absolutely love her. I hope to add her to my collection soon. But she's super rare. And on like eBay and Mercari, she's super expensive. And so I'm not ready to spend a bunch of money on her yet. Question three is, if AG offered you a job, would you accept? What kind of work would you want to do? Of course I would accept. Um, I probably wouldn't if I was, like, older, like, in my 20s or something, but now if they offered me a job, of course I would take it. Um, for the kind of work, I'd want to go around, um, organizing the displays, like, brushing the doll's hair, keeping the displays nice, or I would really want to, um, be the person who helps people find stuff, or a personal shopper, because that seems fun. Um... I don't know. I just like helping people at the American Girl Doll stores because I hear like older people or people who have never been in the American Girl Doll stores before asking questions about it, about stuff, and like they won't go up to a employee and ask. And I know the question almost always, or like I know the answer, and I just want to help. Question four is, favorite parts of having a channel. My favorite parts of having a channel are interacting with my subscribers. I really like talking to you guys. It's super sweet because you all are so supportive. I also like making stop motions. Sometimes they're a little stressful, but I really like how they all come together and all the clips and all the pictures look so nice together. The fifth question is least favorite parts of having a channel. Um, probably technical difficulties and if I accidentally missed a post day. Like, um, I was in Florida. And I missed my post day and I had to post on Sunday, which I did not like at all. Because I wish that I could be able to post on Friday every single time. But sometimes stuff comes up and I can't. And I wish that I had, like, a certain time I would post. But I can't do that because I just, I have too much to do and school and homework and stuff like that. If you could bring one Gaudi out of the retirement, which Gaudi would it be? Oh, I'd have to say probably either Nikki or Jess. Um, I like Nikki because I was born in 2007 and that's when she came out and I also really like Jess because she is one of the only Jess face molds. Um, I think she's super pretty and I like her little braids that she comes with and her meat outfit. The next question is what inspired you to start an AG YouTube channel? So this is kind of a long story. So, my friend Aaliyah and I, she has her own channel. It's called Aaliyah Hope. Go check it out. Um, we were on the trampoline with the sprinkler going, and we were talking about dolls that we wanted. And we were talking about, like, just which dolls that we wanted and what we would name them and our, their personalities. And she goes, we really need to start a YouTube channel. And I was so excited about it, but then we never ended up doing it. So, one day we were at our house, and she goes, let's just start a channel. So, we started our channel. She had a doll she got off eBay, and that was one of our first videos. Actually, it was our first video. No, it was our second video. I'm sorry. And we did that. But then, unfortunately, I had to quit her channel, and my par I was so upset about it. So my parents let me start this channel, and I have absolutely loved it ever since. The next question is, how did you choose your channel name? So when I was, I don't know how old, but... I had this little mini mailbox, and I wanted to write my doll family's last name on it. I didn't have a last name for my doll family because they're all just, like, siblings who have come, like, who have been, like, adopted or been, like, fostered and then adopted or just been a part of this home, so they're not really sisters. Um, I didn't have a name, and 
I don't remember why I chose Otter, but I just put the Otter family. And I don't think I have that mailbox anymore, but I remember I used to put little mail, like little mail cards and stuff in it. And I used to have them open it. And then I was thinking of a channel name and I was like, oh my gosh, that's literally my childhood when I used to call my dolls. And I decided to do that. And of course, AG, because this is an AG tube channel. Next question is, any plans for your channel in the future? Um, no, no plans are really like set in stone. I'm hoping to get more dolls, hoping to do a lot more stop motions and working on how my stop motions are going. Hoping to do a Halloween special and a Christmas special because I didn't do either of those um, during the last Christmas or Halloween because I was just getting used to being on AGTube. So that's really all I can really say right now. Um, I haven't really thought too far into the future, but yeah. So those were all the questions from American Girl Sunshine. The next questions are from East Coast AG. So the first question is, which video took you the longest to edit? Oh, I'd probably say my Chicago tour. That one took a really long time. Because I just, I had to do a voiceover and I was in the um, hotel room and it took such a long time. I had to go through it and watch it to make sure everything was perfect. Some of the parts weren't working correctly and it was just a huge mess. But I finally got it to the way, like to where I liked it and it was good. It could have been better, but I was kind of on a time crunch and I didn't have another video ready. So that was not good. But I'd say that probably took me a, probably a week to edit. The next question is, what is your least favorite doll that EG has ever made? I'd probably have to see, say either Gabriella or Z. I, just, I don't know. I don't really like Z. I know she was like a photographer and she did like some stop motion stuff, which is cool. Just like, I don't like contemporary dolls just because like, what's the point of them? Um, I might have liked it better if she was a, um, girl of the year. And Gabriella, she just, she's just a truly me doll with a backstory, in my opinion. I hope that doesn't offend anybody at all. That's just what I think. These next questions are from Maddie's AG. What AG2 channels do you like to watch? I really enjoy watching Mixie Pixie 7. I'm so sad that she's leaving, but I t completely understand. I like watching The Dolls of the Rain, um, AG, Spirit, AG Spirit Studios, um, and then smaller AGTube channels. I love watching their videos because they're all super cool. Um, I'll pop some of their uh, channel names on the screen right now. The next question is, when did you start collecting dolls? So, my mom and my godmother went to a garage sale. They were just shopping around, and they saw one, so they decided to go. And they saw three dolls. Pleasant Company, Molly, Samantha, and Kirsten. And my mom took Molly and Samantha. And my godmother took Kirsten for her granddaughter. Um, Kirsten's arm wasn't even in the box, and she didn't have any clothes. But Molly and Samantha were in actual good condition. So my mom took them, and they had a ton of clothes with them. And she sent them to the Kansas City American Girl doll store to get them all fixed up. Um, Kirsten had to go to the American Girl doll hospital because her arm wasn't attached. And that her hair was super bad. I think they had to give her a new head, maybe. I don't know. But my mom got those two dolls for one dollar. And my aunt got one doll for two dollars, which was super funny. Um, and then she gave those to me. I did, unfortunately, cut Molly's hair when I was younger, which is so sad. I'll even show you guys right now where I cut it. Um, this is why I don't let my brother touch my dolls anymore, because he was the one who helped me right there. That should be a long piece of hair, which is so sad. Um, but yeah, and that's how it grew. And then I got Caroline at the Chicago store. And then it just kept on going and going and going until my grandparents wanted to get me dolls and I was getting dolls off eBay and at different, like, thrift stores that we'd pass by and I'd see dolls in the windows. The next question is from... 
And her question is, how many dolls do I have? I currently have 15 American Girl dolls. Right now, I'm actually taking care of two of my friends' dolls. So I have an Our Generation and a Mary Ellen in my dollhouse. Um, you might catch Mary Ellen in one of my videos. Um, go back and look at those videos if you can find her. And comment down below for a shout out if you can find where she is. I'll give you a hint on what she is wearing. She is wearing a pink ballet like tunic top and some gray pants. The next questions are from Bare Feet and Freckles. And the first question is, what dolls are on my wish list? I like Jess, who is a gaudy, Nikki, who is also a gaudy, and I like Marie Grace and Cecile. I really, really want them. And I also really want Ivy. Those are really the dolls that I currently, like, absolutely want. The next question is, how have you, have you ever customized or restored an American Girl doll? Yes, actually, and I will show you right now. So, I have customized and res restored some dolls. Um, the one doll that I have customized is Tegan. She was a Kaya doll. I added makeup to her, and I cut her hair. Um, I really like her a lot. The next doll that I did restore was my boy doll. He was a Rebecca, and now his name is Adam. And then finally, a doll that I did restore was my Josefina doll, who I renamed Gemma. Um, those are all of the dolls that I have needed to restore, but I have gotten dolls from different places like garage sales or thrift stores and stuff like that. And Bare Feet and Freckles' this last question is... What dolls do you think AG should retire? Honestly, I think AG should retire some of the blonde hair, blue eyed dolls. Don't get me wrong, I think they're pretty, but there are just so many of them. And like, maybe they are, quote, different, but I mean, what is their difference? One has longer hair than the other, and one has maybe a different face mold or something like that. Just, it's, I don't like that. I also don't like how they have a bunch of dolls that look alike and they just like they look alike but they have different face molds like for example there are these two dolls I don't remember what their numbers are but one had a classic face mold and brown hair or brown eyes and one had a Josefina mold brown hair brown eyes like what what is that like ooh, that's so different just like I wish they would add add some different types of dolls to the Truly Me line because there are so many types of girls out there and not every girl is super classic. There are so many different types of girls and I also really don't like the dolls with colored hair. They're not my favorite. Um, it looks kind of weird and maybe if they added like highlights like brown hair and added some blonde highlights or something like that, that'd be really cute. I might get a doll like that but I don't want a doll with hot pink hair. The next questions come from Dazzling Dolls. She asked, what dolls do you own? I own Truly Me 85. I own a Kaya doll who I turned into, um, who I call Tegan. I have a Josefina doll. I have a Rebecca who I turned into a boy doll. I have a Molly McIntyre. I have a Samantha Partington. I have Kanani. I have a Truly Me 56 who is my Emmy doll. I have Leah Clark. I have a Create Your Own, whose name is Sim or, um, Waylon, and she's a Sonali mold. I have Emily Bennett, who is a historical doll. I have Grace, who is a girl of the year, and I have Caroline, who is a historical doll. I believe those are all of my dolls. I'm trying to look around my room right now, make sure I didn't miss any. I don't think I did. But yeah, that those are the dolls I have. Then she asked, who are my dream dolls? And again, they're probably um, Jess, Nikki, and um, Mar Marie Grace, Cecile, and Ivy. And then she also asked who my favorite AG channel was, and it'd have to probably be Mixie Pixie 7 or The Dolls in the Rain. Butterflies and Dolly's AG asked who my favorite non-AG tuber was. And I have to say the LeBrant fam because I really enjoy them and I love how encouraging 
they are and that they've raised their kids in a Christian environment. The next question that Butterflies and Dollies AG asked was, do I like Kaya? I do like Kaya. I know some people think she's creepy, but I like her. Um, she's not very photogenic if she's like facing the front like this. I just, I don't find her photogenic. She has to be kind of like turned to the side, in my opinion. Um, I do like her, and I like her stories too. And then her final question was, do I think I will ever get Kira? And the answer is no. Um, I almost did get her when I was in Chicago. I almost got two dolls, um, and she was one of them. But then I put her back for another doll, and then I ended up not getting two dolls, because I just thought that was a lot. Um, I probably won't get her. I'm not a big fan of her background, like her backstory. And I feel like her collection and stuff is really cute. I just, she's too simple. Hey y'all, so my background changed. I went on vacation and I went to camp and then I started um, filming the rest of this video because some people had commented when I was gone and I didn't want to leave any comments out um, because some of the comments were really good and I wanted to answer them. So yeah, so let's get started. So the first comments are from Emma Farrow, and she asked, what is your favorite thing about AG dolls? I love creating backstories for my dolls. I love um, all the little accessories and changing them and doing the hair. Just fun things that if you don't have like a younger, si a younger sister, like an older sister, so if you can't do it, because I just have a brother, I don't have a sister. So I like doing that. The next question she asked is if you could design a gaudy, what would, what, oh my gosh, I can't speak. What would it look like and what would be the personality? So I'd have a just face mold, dark skin, uh, hazel eyes, um, maybe some long hair, like long black hair. Um, she'd be a volleyball player like me. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about her backstory and like personality, but she'd be like super kind and caring and maybe she'd like help kids who like couldn't play volleyball or she'd like help kids who had disabilities like be on a team for volleyball who wanted to play or something like really sweet like that um her third question is what is my dream doll um i did answer this question but i want to say it again it's probably cecile or marie grace her fourth question is if you could get any doll right now at this exact moment who would it be uh cecile hands down that's just such an easy question for me and if you could have an ag tuber of like 20k subscribe to you who would it be Mixie Pixie 7. Like, I know she's gone, and that's sad, but, like, if she wasn't gone, I'd be beyond thrilled if she subscribed to my channel. And the next questions are from, um, sorry, <laughs> are from Sophie AG. And her first question is, what inspired you to start AGTube? Um, I did answer this question. I already did this question, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I really enjoy doing stuff with my dolls, with my friend, so we decided to make a channel Then I was unfortunately unable to make, like, continue with her channel, so now I have my own channel because I felt really sad about not being able to do this anymore. Um, she asked, do you have any other hobbies beside dolls? Um, I really like drawing. I'm not, like, a huge artist or anything. I just occasionally draw. I'm I don't paint because I'm not good at it, um, but here, I'll see if I can show you something that I've drawn. I don't know, maybe I won't be able to. Um, yeah, I'm not, like, huge on drawing because sometimes I get frustrated with myself. So, yeah, I will continue to look for that new book in a second. Okay, I found it. Um... I mean, like, I don't draw a whole lot, but, like, this is a person I drew. Um, I usually draw just people because I'm not good at anything else. I'm, I'm so sorry that the background is, like, not working for this. Hopefully it can get better. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. All right, the next question is, what is your dream custom? My dream custom is definitely a just face mold, dark skin, um, blue or hazel eyes and the bangs with the bob. I love that hairstyle. Like, I just, I, 
for some reason, whenever I think of a custom, that's the door that pops into my head. And then Ship asked, how do you come up with video ideas? They're amazing, BGW. Thank you so much. Um, just what other AGTubers do. Sometimes I have a notebook that I write down stuff in. And sometimes, I just randomly, I will think of a thing that like I could do with my friend when they, my friends when they come over. Who are into YouTube like me. Um, I don't know. I don't really, like, have a big process of thinking of things. Sometimes I'll take things from, like, bigger AGTubers who have done stuff. And sometimes just random things will pop into my head. I have an extremely creative and over-ambitious imagination, so that helps. And she asked, is that yes, my dog? Yes, actually, this so is my adorable. dog. His name is yes, Tank. It is he my dog. is a year old July 2nd. He's so cute. Um, he is a Labradoodle. He's two-thirds Lab, one-third Poodle. That's why he's not very curly. Um, he's usually not allowed in my room because he likes sniffing my dolls. Um, I'm doing a voiceover because the way I was talking was super annoying because my voice changes when I talk to my dog. Um, yeah. He likes stepping on all of my stuff and he likes sniffing my dolls and that's why he's not allowed to be in my room. Um, yeah. He's super sweet. He's super kind. He went through this biting stage when he was younger, but other than that, he's been so, so good. Um, he's never, like, attacked anyone, and he's not, a, and, like, aggressive, an aggressive dog. He just barks a lot when he sees something new. But other than that, he's super, super sweet, and we love him so, so much. He's actually our first dog our family has ever had. I got him when I was 13. Um, so, yeah. But thanks for so much for caring about my dog. <laughs> no one's actually ever asked, so thanks. Yeah, and I know that he won't look at the camera, but I've so shown some pictures on my channel of him. Um, so maybe you can look at those. So I'm sorry that he wasn't really showing his face or anything. He might be camera shy or something. But yeah, thanks for noticing. The next questions are from... Um, what the, her first question was, what do you, what made you start collecting AG dolls? My mom found some at a garage sale and then I just loved them ever since. Um, I really started playing with them and then as I got older and I've gone into high school now, it's more of a collecting and like doing their hair and like taking photos rather than playing with them. I mean, occasionally I will, like if I'm really bored and stuff, just, I will never get rid of them. They're my, like, they're so sweet and just like they're like your best friends when you're younger and then you don't ever want to get rid of your best friend and she asked what other dolls do you collect that are not ag i have the biggest barbie collection anyone has ever seen in their life it's so so huge i don't really do anything with barbies anymore but i've got like probably over 100 barbies old new any color any hairstyle anything i've got them um yeah, I don't really do anything. I don't, I'm not a big collector. I've got like 60 Zoom Zooms. And if you don't know what those are, they are like little Disney themed stuffed animals. I don't know how to explain that. Like here are two of them. They like stack on top of each other and they're like in a log shape. Yeah. So yeah, that's, I mean... I don't really collect a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff. And then her third question was, "What tips do you have for new AG tubers wanting to start a channel?" It's not like don't be disappointed in yourself if something doesn't turn out correctly. Just retry. There have been so many stop motions where I thought it was going to look amazing, and then it's still like not perfect to me. So I just started over, and um, just remember that you're going to get better over time. Also. I would suggest trying to make like other friends with AD tubers because they're really supportive and they make you feel really good about your videos and about yourself. So yeah, and I want to thank you guys so much for 140 subscribers. I think I'm at 144 right now. Who knows what I'll be at when I post this video. But I'm so excited because I'm almost to 150 subscribers and I wanted to get to 200 by the end of 2021. And I actually think we might be able to do it. So thank you guys so, so much. This means so much to me. You don't even know. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for this, and hopefully that I can get out some new videos. I have two stop motions on the way. They're both a day in the lives, and then I have 
um, my vacation vlog and my this video. So I've got lots of videos ready for the summer, and so I hope you enjoy. Bye!